Christians preaching about Jesus Christ here in London, and we're wondering why the church in London is so much of a pacifist. Uh, the Bible says to be as bold as a lion, and uh, they don't mind walking around with shirts that say all kinds of advertisement, but what about Jesus Christ on their shirt? How come they neglect Jesus Christ? I'm concerned because we don't want America to turn into what you've turned into here in England. Uh, you've, you've turned your back on God, and we're here telling you, you need to get back to the God of the Bible. Christians didn't have the backbone to fight, and they've allowed the law to make it a law where you can't say something bold. Uh, you have many men of God in this city who were raised up and went to jail for what they believed. They're no longer, that spirit is gone in this, in this city. You have churches that look like museums. They're dead. There's nothing there. And so uh, there's no more fight. The Bible says that we're the salt. One thing that salt does is it preserves. And so we came here to preserve God's standard. Uh, you have to fight in courts. Uh, you know, uh, thank God for some courts. And because there's no fight, uh, now we have laws in this city where you can't preach against homosexuality. They're killing each other with AIDS. Nope, none of us are stoning them. They're killing each other with a venereal disease. God says their sin is worthy of death. Now, we don't need to pick up a rock. They're killing themselves with a venereal disease. It's not in the water. It's not airborne. It's sexual. I'm not against it. It's what the Bible says. If, if, if I say I'm against homosexuality, that's my opinion. But if I say God says male and female, now your issue is with God, not me. God says that that lifestyle is an abomination. That's what God says. Hey, this is the Jesus of the Bible, which obviously you don't know. Jesus Christ spoke more on hell than love and grace combined. If you read your Bible, you would know what I'm saying. Everybody talks about forgiveness, but you forget the word repentance. That hey, means hey, turn hey. away. So, so, so don't tell me God's going to forgive, because God doesn't forgive everyone. Repentance is a change of life. You'll be born again. You'll be a different guy. People that knew you as a, as a bad person now see you as a good person. Now see Jesus Christ in you. But repentance means you have to get rid of it. I was a drunkard. I was a fornicator. You know, I like to do these things. Yes. But the Bible tells me I cannot do them anymore. So I'm acknowledged. This is the standard. This is what God tells me. I don't tell God how, how things should be. When we cut this from the from the intellectual context of everything, trying to reason intellectually, is it okay for a man to put his penis in, 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 the, in the rectum of another man? They love each other. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you're sick in your head. No, the rectum is for exit only. You would have no population. So how do you populate? You insert this stuff in the schools. You teach it with the kids. That's the only way homosexuals can reproduce. They teach it in the schools. You need to understand. Because I don't know what's going to happen after we walk away with your life. Let's make it very clear. You chose to reject Jesus as the Son of God. You will go to hell. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to beg. Please. I know. You're a big boy. I know. I'm looking you right in the face. Yeah, yeah. It's your choice. It's your choice.